Hey y'all. Hey, say hi y'all. I'm so excited and recently I started working so I've just been like so busy and I haven't been really able to bask in the fact that like I won this opportunity because usually when I apply for stuff like I just be doing it and be like okay it's in God's hands now. <laughs> I did my best but I actually won and I mean I did do my best y'all. I did my interview and I was like it is my business this is my baby i've been doing this for how many years you know my audience is this so this that and the third or whatever i feel like i did really good i just be like it don't be for me but this was clearly for me and i won along with um 99 other black women so i'm super hyped there's a whole schedule for all three days the first two days they got us doing work till um i think 8 or 9 p.m. and I love that. <laughs> the workaholic in me loves that. I got some new powders and stuff that I'm really excited about. The One Size Translucent Powder and the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder. I've been seeing what they be talking about on Twitter. It was like, oh, 12 hours. I said 12 hours. I don't be needing makeup like that all the time, but when I do, I need it to set. It's crazy because I just updated my uh brow routine and um if you know me <laughs> I've been doing my brows since I was in high school probably like since 10th grade I'm true to this not new to this so anytime I didn't get a like new brow routine I'm abandoning one that I've had for probably like three or four years but this one it'd be working it do take a lot of time but it'd be working because I don't like using um product anymore like to darken my eyebrows i like them to look light so i actually don't put like any product to darken it if that makes sense like i'm just lining the hairs and then concealing it let me wipe this product off mm, can't forget to roll it in like so like that you see what it do mm -hmm. it's doing what it's supposed to do anyway back to the uh event so Basically, when I get there, we sign in. I don't think you check into the hotel until at least 3 o'clock. So, um, they have us taking the ferry or whatever. And we're going to take it to the training. We get our own badges and stuff. <laughs> we get our own badges. And we start networking with the gals and them. And you know me, super excited. I already started looking through the attendee list. And I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's their name gonna be there? That's Gina now! Um, but yeah. Started looking through people named businesses. I don't like everybody's legit. I love that for us. So I'm so excited. Um, there is a couple panels today. There's a couple panels today, and they're giving us headshots. How about the headshots? It's like three signups. I have been using tinted moisturizer as if it's foundation for the past how long? Just because I like how lightweight it is. I don't know, when I wear foundation, it'd be too cakey. So I'm like, let me stick to my foundation. This is Perfect Fresh by Colourpop. And sometimes I like it to dab a little bit of NARS, just for the color. But we're gonna mix that in, mix that in. And I am wearing regular hijab today, so don't need to get in under here. I'm really moving slow, y'all. <laughs> so the orientation is like three days, right, y'all? Orientation is three days, and then there's a graduation um, for two or three days that's back in New York, probably in December. But the program, it's not a, like program. It says seven to ten hours a week, and I'm like, that's slight work. I spend how many hours on my business every day? But that was before I got a job. So now I'm like, <laughs> I know I can do it though, because I'm um, definitely dedicated. My only thing is I just have to manage my time really well really 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 well and i thought i was doing it good before but i have to do it really well now having a clock right in front of you while you're doing your makeup it's not for the week it's not for the week it's not for the week and anxious um i don't even know why i still say anything. Mm -hmm. 
Corona has been stuck in my head for the past month, actually. I'm so sorry, and I should have seen him in concert. I should have. This has been outside this whole summer, y'all. I highly recommend. We went to Broccoli City. We went to so many concerts and events. Broccoli City was a dream. I don't know which video will come out first. This one. <laughs> This one is the Broccoli City one, but the Broccoli City one was really fun. I just been no excuses. I need to make time for it. That's all that is. Yeah, it's been so fun. And it's crazy because I moved out last year, but last year I guess I was still like recovering. Cause when you move out, especially you move out. And I moved out with my sister. It'd be feeling like I live by myself. But um I moved out with my sister. It's different because it's like it's not like you have a man paying for all your bills. I didn't get married. Like, it's just me paying for all my own stuff and her paying for all her own stuff. So we had to recover. And then we're still like, kind of in the same mindset that we're living at home and we're not. So we didn't really go outside. And my parents was like super strict. I'm missing something and I don't know what it was. I usually put corrector under my eyes so I don't look like a raccoon, but I feel like I'm good today. Somebody let me know why every time I correct a certain dart mark and I conceal it and I um, set it and everything, I start putting foundation on it, it won't reveal itself. The math is not mathing. Somebody please let me know. Are you starting to piss me off? Anyway, the haters shall not prosper. <laughs> I'm actually really nervous. And y'all gonna be like, girl, how old are you? This is my first time going without like a plus one and it's just to new york but i'm like i don't know i'm so used to doing stuff with like a friend or my sister like if it's like out of state like even the uh nike deal that i had y'all i was like oh can i bring my assistant i don't have an assistant <laughs> i can't afford an assistant i needed content that was for content and because i was scared that was y'all. Miami was the first place that I've been without like my parents. Oh my god, it's still revealing itself. Come on now. Jeez. Check it out, check it out, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it now, check it out. Look up in the party, your name is Ben. Haters, you can kill yourself. That's aggressive, number one. Ooh, ooh, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. Cream, cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, yo. You the beauty. Sister, I'm killing it, yo. I started using this, right? I had to tell my sister, man, I was like, I started using this the first time when I went to work. I was there for probably 10 hours and I only used it under my eyes because this is the brightening one. I came home, my whole face was greasy except under my eyes. I said, oh yeah, oh yeah. Period. Let me make sure it's clear. Is it clear to go in? Yes, it is. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wasn't even gonna tell me I didn't blend down here. Y'all are fake. <laughs> you lot can't say what I say, but <sighs> looking like a bag of chips per usual.
This is my thing with my makeup, right? Every single time I try to contour, I fail real bad. So I just don't contour and my whole face just looks like a potato. I'm gonna get it right one day. One day. Inshallah, one day. Everybody say hello. Then the girls was talking about setting your lip liner. Mm -hmm. It was like period. Set it all. Set it all off. Set it off on the lip. Set it off on the right. Now set it off. I look like a clown. <laughs> uh -huh. That's fine. Probably the best clown you've ever seen. We're gonna have to show y'all once I put the lashes on because. Mm -mm. Waiting for our Uber to arrive. So listen y'all this whole experience like they really just pampered us and i really love that because i've never been somewhere where they give you like goody tote bags do you see this this is a tote bag like with our name and cohort and everything it came with a notebook and i was so upset because i was like oh i have to hurry up and get a notebook no they had us with a notebook it had other stuff in there chocolate like freebies everything was so nice so, y'all, first of all, this room is huge. It don't even make no sense. Now, just don't know how to unlock the doors here. Okay, so that's not my closet. Anyway, we have this pretty but loud view. We have some artwork that clearly needs an art exe touch, but I digress. Uh, let's check out the view or whatever. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? <laughs> I'm about to go work at this desk. Huh? Do you see the kitchen? I could move in here. Do you see the kitchen? No, this is cute. Let's not even start on a microwave or full fridge. You know why? Because the past two years, I don't know what's going on with hotels, but um. There ain't been in a freaking dishwasher. There ain't been no microwaves, no fridges. If there is a microwave or a fridge, you have to go in the whole, like the whole hallway. Maybe it's just me, me and my sisters, my family, or whatever. Get cheap hotels, but look at this couch. Y'all see the couch? Hold on. Let me take my sleeves off. Do y'all see this? Y'all not seeing this though. Y'all not seeing this. 
Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Oh, I gotta show y'all. I gotta show y'all this. All exclusive. <laughs> So while I'm editing this, I'm just like, girl, why was you so hype? But listen, my mom, I showed, I was telling her how hype I was while I was recording. And she was just like, no, keep it in. Because you need to show your audience how eager and excited you were. So thank her. Because I was too hype. But it's, it's okay. Okay. Look at this. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous or whatever. Check me out, check me out. Yo, I've been trying to like contain my energy because I don't know. I'm hoping there's somebody like there's other younger women here, but like I just been the hypest one. Not the hypest, but like I gotta contain, I can't show my age. And I'm just like, I need to show my age. <laughs> I'm so hype. So y'all, basically, we would take the ferry sometimes back and forth from Jersey City to New York since the class was in different locations. But I was really surprised. I didn't know the ferry was this nice. The city was nice or whatever. We was all in the hallway. Excuse my accent. It just kept turning on and off while I was here because I'm from New York for real. We was squad deep in there, y'all. We were squat deep. It was just so beautiful to see. I was so hyped that they had drinks that was non-alcoholic. They was looking out. Yes, the DJ turned us up before each class. I loved it. <laughs> Another thing that I loved was that everybody else was recording and vlogging and just documenting the process. I did not feel alone. Everybody was like, did y'all see the backdrop? Did you get a picture in front of this? Let me take a picture of this for you. Like, I just, I've never been in a space like that. And it felt really nice. Yeah, this was the reception. We had dinner after class and got moved. Today, it was amazing. It was really, it was really nothing that I could have like anticipated. I feel like this is something that where I'll finally have like tools from professionals and like like minded people and even like alumni from the program that will be like, okay, this is how a business is supposed to run. This is how, you know, entrepreneurs should run their business. Um, this is how you do the administrative work, no matter what discipline that you're in. This is how you do this. This is how you hire people. This is how, this is what you focus on. Um, whether you're doing this, that on a third, this is what you focus on to make sure that you're having revenue and getting profit and not just like visibility. Like, yo, um, one of the leaders today the, even when she was talking and she was really funny but she was serious she was dead serious even when she was talking today and i just love when she was talking it's like you know when you be listening to a song like a rapper or something and every line they drop is a bar this was her i was writing everything down everything she said was like amazing and she just she talks like she talks like rhythmically like very poetically but she also talks as if Everything she's saying, like when she's defining these roles and words and stuff, it's straight out the dictionary. And I just love that. As black business owners, we need to stop calling ourselves like CEOs and this, that, and the third when really we're just the founders. We're just the owners of the business. Like, because we don't know how to do everything. And like the proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? Like so many times we hear people say, oh, I don't want to support black business. I want to do this. And like, I don't know about y'all, but in my city, the business owners let's not talk about that but i just feel like there's a lot of things customer service wise business wise financially wise like bookkeeping all that stuff like even marketing we have a lot to learn even myself there's a lot to learn and as they were talking i'm just like i'm about to learn all the tools right here today not today but throughout this program and while i'm here at orientation but i really loved how they were just getting through everything and in my experience since starting my business, I've always, some of it was a waste of money and some of it wasn't. I've always just been like, 
buying the courses, the training. Anybody that has something to say about business, I'm all ears. I want to learn. People have these programs that they're doing. There's people that um, are in different positions, whether like they're an artist or just a business owner or whatever that I want to be in. I'm like taking notes from them. And it's just like not everybody, not everybody in the position to give notes to people. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of where it's just like if you're taking information or taking tips from so many different things, what are you actually going to implement? You get what I'm saying? And I feel like it's because I'm excited. I'm eager. A lot of times I should just focus on like things that are working and focus on that for a while and like try to strengthen that. But I can't because being an artist, being an artist, selling my products, my merchandise, and also like having original art that I want to showcase. I am in this like career path or lane that doesn't have too many people that I can like look from. For example, you know what I'm saying? I'm creating my own lane. So I'm just kind of like, I'm not lost in the sauce anymore. I fig I pretty much do know what I'm doing. But when I want to like propel more like just business, like having a business, just wanting to like advance and scale my business, I don't know where to go. But I was very excited today because they was just like, oh yeah, we got all the tips. What else? You was in this big auditorium learning all this stuff. It was very exciting, very exciting stuff. Um, I was just sitting there taking notes of everything, of everything. I was a little sleepy at one part. I was staying awake. I drank a little bit of soda. I don't even like soda like that to wake up. But they was just talking about how, oh, this cohort, this cohort or whatever, this program is going to be a lot of work. Like, but what you put into it, you get out of it. It's going to be a lot of work. There's going to be like a lot of things you have to turn in. You have to meet on with your mentor, your group and everything. And it's just like, yeah, take it serious. It's going to be a lot of work. And one thing about me is work for my business that ain't nothing but a thing you get what i'm saying if it's work i'm not scared of no work that's going to propel my business like if anything i've been looking for the real work that i can do to like really push my business forward what can i do tell me give me the answers please help me help me nigga tell me what i need to know because I'll, I'll do that right now i'll do that today tomorrow and the next day you get what i'm saying so it's like it's nothing like it's nothing but a thing I just know I have to manage my time better now that I do have a job. I feel like that's, it will be difficult, but it's not going to be difficult to try. Like, I'm willing to try that. Like, I'm going to get a pop in with Google Calendar. That's nothing because it's really what I care about. And something I have been saying a lot, which I noticed a lot of other business owners today was saying, it was like, oh, my business is my baby. And they was like, oh, no, y'all got to cut that out. I say lingo like that because what about your, what about real babies? You know what I'm saying? Like, they eventually grow up and they learn to like, you know, exist without you. And I'm like, <laughs> facts. Like, they were just spit, spitting facts the whole time. Other than, of course, the women. Oh my God, the women were amazing. There was 154, 55 of us. I don't know if all of them were there today because they came from all over. But they were so nice. And it's always been difficult for me to, like, network because it's just, like, one, I'm an introvert and I want to stop using that as, like, an intro and saying that it's no excuse like we all here to network i don't care i don't care what you what you used to what your there's no excuse so i wasn't trying to use that as excuse it was very nice they were just talking everybody was like okay we're here to network literally so everybody's saying hi what's up we got the badges we got our name and our business everybody like oh where are you from oh what you do and it's not like that kind of like weird conversation when you're outside and somebody try to talk to you and they're like oh what do you do like what I do is my existence, but it's just like here, this was the right setting. It was perfect. We were networking. And what I love so much about this is towards like once it got later in the day and we started knowing each other more, we wasn't just talking about business. It wasn't giving transactional or oh, what do you do? How can you benefit me or somebody I know? We was literally just talking about life and vibing and talking about all this stuff and I loved it. We was even talking about tomorrow going out to eat after the session ends and it ends pretty late. But I'm like, I'm all for it. <laughs> I'm all for it. So I'm excited about that. Damn, I've been talking for a long time. Um, Yeah, I met a few people from all over. Philly, of course, DC, LA, Michigan, Oklahoma, everywhere. The women are so nice, all different ages. I think I was the youngest again. <laughs> but I'm used to that. We're going to stay tuned. Hopefully, I'm not burnt out enough. I'm not too burnt out to make another one tomorrow. But I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. But good night.
so I'm already running late, but this is the fit of today. Breakfast was 10 out of 10 or whatever. No, but for real, the breakfast, it was really good. The best part was the potatoes. And you know, black people, <laughs> we gonna eat some carbs. We gonna eat some potatoes. So it kept running out a little bit. But the event staff there for Goldman Sachs, they was helping us out. They took us to each of our rooms, each of the floors. Like I said, it didn't matter which building it was. There was a turn up. The DJ was on it before each class. And it was all black women music. Day two, we had our tables and our groups. I was group 16, so, you know, I got to meet more of my women. And that is actually my growth group, which will, I'll be talking to them once a week for the next 10 to 12 weeks. Breakfast and snacks was a one. What's going to happen? And so being able to model your decision making mitigates the risk. And then we're going to talk about managing your finances. And for some of you, this may be personal and professional. And that's... We've been and we've been gone. We've been being fed, talking about it. We've been being fed, talking about it. This year is a tech to our lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shut up. I gotta start over. Hey, y'all. So day two is almost over. Yeah. But let me show y'all my fits. So... It's giving maternity, kind of, just a little bit, but there is dinner upstairs, reception upstairs, on the rooftop, or whatever. <laughs> I gotta show you all the products that I use because it don't make sense that my face is still here after like, that was like, that was literally almost nine to five. It was like eight to 5.30, so let's do math. Nine to Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Nine and a half hours. Still holding up. Okay, anyway, let me show you all the rest. Tell me why I just said all this and wasn't even recording. Anyway, I was just saying how today was an amazing day. Uh, I was just doing a paperwork and sitting there like, there's so much I don't know. There's so much that I haven't even like touched the surface of things that I thought I knew I was doing from my business, for example, like customer data and profiles, like really digging into what that is. It's not just age and demographic, but like what do they do? What influences their decision? Just like SWOT analysis, the strengths and opportunities, threats and everything in my business, like things I can control, what I can't control, what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. Even like the job description for my business, like being a manager and being a CEO, like, I'm a very good manager. I mean, I'm a very good CEO, but I'm a horrible manager. I'm horrible. <laughs> Let me not say everything, but. <laughs> but basically there's so much and I'm just glad I'd like to highlight that now. Like, and it's just so much that we're learning from professionals, like in conversation and even in the presentations and everything. And like, even um, who was speaking to Melissa, oh my gosh, she's hilarious. She was like a comedian, but she was so serious. She was dead ass, like, she was just like she owns a few businesses and she recently just sold one and i'm just like they're legit like no jokes and like just talking to so many other people like the entire network of just like 155 or 54 women like <laughs> anyway do y'all like my fit let me try to back it up so i'm about to see everything um, Is it giving maternity shirts or is it giving 70s? I don't know, but I like it. Anyway, dinner is upstairs on the rooftop. It's a reception. The only thing that I always complain about, not complain about, but mention is like, when I be vlogging, I have to do it like horizontally and vertically because like, y'all can't miss out on the content. But I'm gonna vlog a little bit. I'm just so excited to talk to more of the women because, like, I don't even think I scratched the I did scratch the surface. But there's so many more women to meet, so I'm gonna go get to that. <laughs> Welcome to 
we would squat deep on the rooftop too it was so beautiful we could not match those views but we got some more networking done it was beautiful i just came back downstairs uh it was really nice so first i went up there they had really good food it was really good food they had like lobster rolls high-end food pasta salads everything was really nice uh, I talked to a few people, then I was just sitting there by the fire. Everybody was taking a lot of pictures and videos. And I'm like, I'm just trying to make the most like they told me to do. So like, I'm kind of like, if it's nobody to talk to, I'm going back to my room. Like, I would wash my face, settle down, maybe wash my kid room and do my homework if I can. But um, there was another lady who I overheard had her own paper in business. So I'm like, let me try to talk to her, you know. Oh, whatever and i talked to her ended up talking to her for probably about an hour she was very nice she was giving me a bunch of gems and we were just talking about the program and everything and you know like how her business was with covid and she was just saying like to promote like she does this thing i'm gonna show y'all her card she like hands out her cards or whatever and basically like to anybody like grocery store uh different events like when she vents the event she doesn't even buy a table she's just there with her stand saying i do paint parties and paint parties like sipping paints is that just that kind of business where like it's mostly women but it's, it's just that kind of business where, like everybody want it everybody's going to do it at some point like, like let me know have you been to a sipping paint or know somebody that's been to a sipping paint yeah basically like everybody's been so i just feel like that's something where like even if they take your card and it was like a big card it was like four by six it wasn't a business card you can't get rid of that and she was just saying basically like they took it and they would it would be months later or even years later and be like oh remember you gave this to me you do paint parties they just need a reference somebody that did it and in my head i'm like i got anxiety but i'm just like i'm pushing through and she was just like but you gotta do it so that's next on my list and we also learned today about like stop making a to-do list to make yourself busy and be productive keep the stuff that's gonna make you money and propel your business on the to-do list and i'm like yeah i'm at fault for that because i do that a lot but yeah i do that a lot but i was very excited tomorrow's the last day <laughs> tomorrow's the last day um it's bittersweet because i'm like i'm gonna miss i'm gonna miss the goals i'm gonna miss the panel but i'm so excited to put everything into practice and i'm just like optimistic and hopeful about like how i'm going to run my schedule like it's not just randomly whatever i see like my feed needs to be done or whatever i see needs to get done with zay paints or art x zay it's me having specific goals that i want starting small before i derail and have like business goals for three months and then six weeks or six months and then a year or two years every single thing starting small with a few goals and then like having my daily tasks like reflect that mm -hmm. it's so much more but i'm excited uh i'm gonna take a shower and get ready for the night and talk to y'all later talk to y'all tomorrow day three <laughs> day three um I'm already late because I wanted to pack my stuff. I'm not late, it's still breakfast. But I wanted to pack my stuff before I uh, put it by the door for when I come back to check out and go home. Back to work. But I'm excited to get everything in place for my business, but. Yo, I just want y'all to look at this view that we've been seeing every day. Like not to be touristy, but to create intergenerational wealth. We would be able to see your business and to see your potential and to see your grit and to see what you're building and infuse that and allow you to grow, right? So on day three, this was Asai Pompey, the president of the founda foundation. And they said she was one of the oldest members there, um, most powerful black woman there. And the way she spoke, it was so evident that. But she was telling us how she went like to the founder of Goldman Sachs, the head, the president, and basically just came with this information, the statistics on black women and why she'd invest in them. And she just had so many stories and it was so inspiring just to hear her speak. And I see you and it will be you. And I'll tell you. As you guys can see, I desperately wanted to show you this view, but so bittersweet. 
the program is over and I'm sad about that but I'm also happy to like just get home and get started and I don't know y'all like the the foundation like the president of the foundation that started this all she came on a black woman of course she came on and told us about it and I was just like this is actually like a big deal and a lot of the stuff she was saying it wasn't just about the program but it was also like you know speaking to us like in a humanistic way and just telling us like as women as black women women first because it's just like we have so much more going on than men that is like overlooked but and then black women because you know double threat muslim woman for me triple threat but it's just like it's so much that we don't hear and don't know about and it, i almost cried everybody was crying everybody was emotional i almost cried it was just very validating and she was just like oh from a very young age i had to be my own parent i had to be my own mother and like tell myself i deserve to be in this room and i feel like the confidence thing and just like imposter syndrome and trying to get over that and just telling myself i deserve to be in this room i'm just as good as if not better than everybody in this room and sometimes i be feeling like that but i forget and it's just like you know, having to shrink myself and then having to be humble my whole life. And you can still be humble, but, like, don't shrink yourself down. You know you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all that in a bag of chips. Area! And I've been all that in a bag of chips. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, like, you deserve to be here. And when I really thought about, like, what this program is, who's leading the freaking program, you know what I'm saying? Goldman Sachs, one of the oldest and most, like, biggest banks in this country. And, like, how that will forever be in my network. I'm just, like you really all that you get what I'm saying like business aside what I'm doing just like my tenacity and everything but I feel like it's just like a testament to like what I've been doing how hard I've been working and I'm just like yo but uh today is almost over <coughs> I'm gonna do a little stuff around the city my sister's here my cousin is here I'm gonna see them but I'm just like I'm still on a high and I feel like today it really hit me I always process stuff so late today it really hit me that I'm like this is huge this is huge but I'm gonna see y'all later that was too good let's get the bell per I took so many pictures and videos just because I simply want to remember this trip but overall this this whole program this event and moving forward it's been so transformative for me everyone that i met the conversations that i had everything that i learned and what i'm going to learn just alhamdulillah like i'm never gonna forget it and i've just been so hyped an entire time because i've been able to like have access to this information so early like not so early on in my career but just my age being 24 and having access to this who knows when I would have gotten access to this so I'm incredibly honored and grateful and I just feel like it's gonna be a big shift toward my business and like you can't back down you can't go backwards from the information that you got everything that I talked about it was for a reason everything that I saw experienced it it's just amazing so Thank you for watching, you guys. If you watch this whole thing, you're a real one. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you next time.